today on Hayden 1995, we're going to show you how to drive in the snow. Okay, step number one for driving in the snow is to clear all the snow off your vehicle. No matter how much snow is there, clear it all off and make it nice and clean so you can see. That's the number one step right here. Brush it off. Very important. As much off as you can. Always make sure you have an ice scraper brush with you at all times when you're driving this snow. You don't need one. First, we'll go over snow tires and regular tires. We'll compare them until I'll tell you the difference. These are regular tires. These are for the summertime, pretty much. Uh, these would be very bad in snowy conditions. It'd, it'd be really bad. You'd be kind of stuck. They're not going to stop good on ice, and they're not going to work in deep snow very well. Okay, we'll move on. These are snow rubber. means that you can't use them above 45 degrees, or they'll get chewed up really quickly. And they're studded, so it's, there's a stud right there. What the stud does, it helps you get traction on ice like really icy conditions, this tire will stop much better than this tire would. It's like night and day difference between these two. This tire will stop. It'll grab and stop. That's what you want. And then the tires that are on here are Blizzax. And these tires are the best for like going through deep snow. If you just want to go through deep snow and you're not worried about icy conditions because you're experienced in driving in ice, these are the best way to go if you're just going to drive through a whole bunch of deep snow. If you're just going to go on road and have no intentions driving off-road in snow, these are the best. But if you want to go off-roading in snow, these are the best. And you got to be a little bit careful going around bends and doing burnouts if you're into that kind of thing. Or drifting. These will not let you drift easily if you're into that and you run into that. When I see parking lots, they won't break loose. Okay, let's move on. What you should have inside the vehicle when you're driving in the snow. This is stuff that'll probably save your life. Bag of tools, box of tools in this situation. Tow rope, always good to have. Um, water, if you can fit a full size shovel in your vehicle, go with that. But most likely you won't have that kind of room. So buy yourselves one of these shovels. They're like five or six dollars at Walmart. They're collapsible, this will help you in a jam. It's a lot better than using a hubcap or a sheet cover, seat co floor mats, sorry. Yeah, floor mats. And one of these will help you if you're stuck in the ditch somewhere so people know you're there, don't hit into you. You got your hitch right here in case you don't have recovery hooks to get you out if you come across somebody that wants to help you. You let them. And you got an air compressor, first aid kit, flashlight, hand warmers, cell phone's always good to have, and a pair of jumper cables. Okay, the other thing is you run into snowplow truck drivers, okay? And you know, their job requires a lot of concentration. They have to have a lot of concentration to do their job. And occasionally they won't see you as a car and you might be pulling up to a stop sign or something and you won't know what they're doing because they might be icing it really good there or something. If you have the know-how or, you know, the money, you should get a CB radio because all snowplow truck drivers use a CB and they work on the channel 19. So if there's like a still plug truck driver, you can tell them, hey, I'm here, like let me pass or don't hit into me because they might do that. You gotta be very careful. That could like get you out of an accident. The CB radio. So that's, you don't have to have it, but that would help. Okay, so there's the ditch I'm going to pretend to drive into. I'm just going to mount it so it's not going to be fast. But, you know. Okay, the next thing is, 
once you get out of the ditch is to look for body parts in the ditch. Like there might be a mud flap that came off your vehicle or a rocker panel that came off it if they're plastic. So pick those up. Make sure you don't leave them in there. I don't know, maybe you like buying new stuff that's not even broken. Well, your choice. But yeah, pick them up, throw them in your vehicle once you got out. And if say like you don't have a shovel in your vehicle or anything and you're watching this, use floor mats because that's the lastest effort. That's that'll ruin your floor mats, but if you really need to get out, use your floor mats to get out. Or a hubcap to get out if you're really screwed. Okay, the next thing you want to do, uh, next thing you want to do is dig underneath the tires. Okay, and just dig underneath the tires until you get all the snow out of there. Okay? That's what you want to do. And dig out under all four tires. If your vehicle is front or four wheel drive, I'd focus on the tires that were stuck that were actually front or four wheel drive. But this is an all wheel drive, so all the tires will be spinning. So you gotta dig out all the snow underneath the tires because the snow is like nunchucks. There are chucks under there stopping your car from spinning. As you can see, there's no snow underneath here, so there's not really a problem. Okay, dig underneath the vehicle, do that. Make sure you don't hit any hoses or anything, okay? <laughs>